What's poppin' people with your boy Shaq, aka Black Goku, and today we're here with another ReZero Season 3 episode reaction. I am so fucking hyped. Dude, I waited, I waited one day because I was I was really occupied yesterday. Like I couldn't record on uh Wednesday, so I'm recording this on Thursday, and holy fucking shit. I uh, I, uh, I saw the episode length, 23 minutes. Now I was hoping that we were gonna get 30 minute uh long episodes. Um or at least like out or sorry not at least like either hour-long episodes or 30 minute episodes i do not have like any qualms with this being 20 saying it's 23 minutes let me see yeah like i know we're still gonna get like mad content that's just something that i i noticed my hair is like fricked frick to frack um i'm not gonna hold y'all i'm bricked up you're bricked up let's stay bricked up and watch re-zero season three episode two together Three, two, one. Oh my god. Dude, no, they know. Dude, that... That like voice in the ear, bro. He was shook. Damn, was really swimming. Oh my god. Something you can't say again? Like... Dude, I love Beiko's, like, understanding of Subaru's, like... Hey, she may not... Like, she may have an inkling, but... Dude. Oh my god. This music... Don't do anything reckless? Dude, the fucking bags under his eyes. Damn, bro. This is the opening. Oh, shit. The opening. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Dude, he's, he's too loud right now. How did he even tie himself up before? He's already under her under her control. Oh god. Oh my god, cake. Oof. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't realize they were gonna be so graphic. Oh my god, bro. This is hard to watch. And now he's feeling what Subaru's feeling? Oh. Oh my god, she did the same thing that, that um uh Juice did licking his eyeball. Oh 
That was visceral! That was fucking visceral! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Bro! That was insane! Oh. This is his... This is his closest checkpoint yet. Oh my god, dude, that was so visceral. I I don't I honestly didn't think they were going to like I don't think they were going to like be so graphic. Cause like like they they kinda they, they kinda They censored loose spells death a little bit But that was like crazy Dude they're already under the spell. Come on, Subaru. That's tough. Bro. I wonder how this next one's gonna go. I mean, like, see, like, reading this versus seeing it animated, two completely different things. My boy, Ryan Hart. Let's go. ヨーガダムガダムアンダーコントロールジャストフォーマタップ。ライオンハルト。あ、僕だよ。大変な状況だったようだ。あれは滞在死去だね。ああ、あいつ、あいつ他人を洗脳する力の持ち主だ。問題を片付ける。おお。敵かよ。チェインズ、ワンペイン。ファイナルウィーグ<笑> Oh, okay. He just he just knocked her down. She still she still has them under her control. Oh my god. Oh my god. One warning for you. Are not quite as tame as me. So she's already letting him know that there's other Sin Archbishops here. See, in Subaru, like, even though he's only experienced it, like, twice, he's already, like, oh. Was so damn, they're really showing all of this shit. 
Don't look back at Subaru. Okay, something else to say? I actually don't think that Liliana is as annoying in the anime as she is in the novels. Yeah, what the fuck? She's like, no, 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 let me lick it for you. And Reinhardt wasn't like, like he killed her, but like, as we saw, it killed everybody. Like, this is gonna be a tricky Archbishop to fight. She already knows. She already knows. Oh my god, I love Beiko. Dude, this anime is gonna get me so fucking emotional, man. Like, everyone is starting to trust Subaru, bro. I can't wait for peak speech. I can't wait for I can't wait for peak peak speech. You told me this all. Oh. oh, I love their unwavering faith in Subaru, bro. Like, it makes me feel so happy, like, where he's come. Because, like, in season one, he struggled so much in vain, like, without being able to tell people anything, like, the bad shit that was going to be happening around them. And now it's like someone like Betty, like Amelia, they can just look at him and, like, you don't have to explain. You don't have to explain. We we just will understand. Oh, this, show, this show is peak fucking fiction. I need your strength and wisdom. ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。ライン。
やか貴様家の準備は仕食ったのよこれは邪法かしら魔法より呪いや呪術に近い魂への干渉なのよ、oh. 邪魔くじゃ立ち打ちできないかしらくさいくさいくさいくさいくさいくさいくさいくさいくさいくさいくさい He can smell the girl, but not Tsubu yet? Ooh. Ooh. Here's a fight. Damn. What? Oh. Hey, look at Amelia taking on her feet while talking. Cook your intestines. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, we. Stop insulting me over and over. <laughs> Ooh, look at her. She's like, oh, dude. I love Amelia. Don't worry, I'm still Team Rem, guys. I'm still Team Rem. But, like, I also really like Amelia. Second, second best girl for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, she's so cute, Murak. Oh, we're seeing some of the, we're seeing some of Subaru's powers now. Look at him, broken just fly now. Broken just fly now. The skills. Oh. Indiana Subaru. She got the spear now. My eyes, my voice, and my silver hair are all things the person I love praised. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! Oh. And if this is actually Fortuna, then that's gonna be so fucking diabolical, bro. Oh my god, tears in my eyes, bro. What's, what's this attack? Oh, she has a girl with her! What? How? Oh, she's a fucking fiend. ジョーを迎えに来た。間に合って本当に良かったよ。迎え。妻に迎える女性の手を取るのは男として、人として当然のことじゃないかい。僕は魔女教滞在式を。レギュレースコリエス。おおマイガース。約束通り彼女を僕
Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. This is this is going to be this is going to be a fucking oh my god. Where where do I even begin? All right. So, let me just get straight straight into like the analysis part of it, right? Because I I want to make these more than just my reaction i want to actually talk about how goaded this fucking series is and i'm going to yap where i can yap at right Goodness. so starting off for him to have like returned by death after a year that shit like he it, it basically showcased that in in that year he did not return by death. So he was kind of like on a on a good run. And his mind state, his mental state due to Sirius's uh authority, the authority of wrath, it was it was fucking up his senses. Like he didn't even he couldn't even comprehend what was happening. So he's just now waking up and realizing like, "Oh shit, dude." I was just like under a spell. I died, and all of the shit is flooding back to him. What you guys have to realize is when Subaru returns by death, it's instantaneous. Other than the the times where he's been to the Shadow Garden, which um, if you don't know about the Shadow Garden, I, I recommend like looking up some other anti tubers who can explain it like a little bit more. But basically, there have been a few times where when he dies he doesn't immediately go back but he goes to this place that is uh very similar to very similar to um whoops why is this not going away it's very similar to when he talks to satella and very similar to when he is saying return by death and then like like that shadowy shit comes around and like Satella's hands come out but essentially he goes to a place where he's not able to like feel any of his senses like like touch smell taste like vision like any of that he can't feel it and so like sometimes he gets stuck in that but without without rambling too much that this is the quickest or sorry this is the shortest time between a death and a checkpoint that subaru has ever had by far in the anime this is a 15 minute checkpoint so his like he has to be thinking on the fly and quick because like this is this is like a whole archbishop who's just spawned and it's basically a full-out battle when it came to uh beetlejuice like he had time to prepare he had like days to prepare for that he had days to gather an army get like all the people informed like let everyone know like hey what what they're dealing with before they even go into it and right now he's like yeah um I have no way to prepare for this at all other than just like knowing that Ratchins is going to be there to call for Reinhardt and him having like Beatrice and Amelia. But dude, let's talk about that fucking death. That that first death of the episode, we saw how like how Luspo was getting like he was chaining himself up which like I, bro, th the fact that he's being forced to do this I, I am gonna like complain like subaru was being like a bit too loud he should like but you know he he could have already been lightly under the effects which you know yeah it, it, it kind of goes to show like yeah he probably was already under the effects because he was so like nervous and scared he was feeling everything that loose spell was feeling and oh my god just the the brutality that is ReZero. Like Dude, you guys do not realize that like the shit that we're seeing, the shit that we see in the anime is usually kind of censored compared to how 
devastating and diabolical it is in the novel when they explain it they explain it in such immaculate detail oh my god just like his fucking fingers getting cut off just by him trying to grab the fucking chain dude him getting fucking essentially hung to death like bro this is dude this is re-zero this is like more of that dark shit we've gotten We've seen how dark and devastating ReZero can be from season one. Episode 15, I'm telling you, that was the beginning. That was the beginning. Like, you guys, like, as far as, like, the anime, like, if you're just watching season one, and then you, like, watch season two, you realize, god damn, we really didn't see shit. They make this show so visceral. So, oh my god. And then, like, while he's going, like, insane like he is literally getting cooked by Sirius like that was oh my god visceral visceral he li oh my god I, I I can't that that's like one of the one of the worst deaths that's one of the worst deaths oh my god Su Subaru is like he's he's already going through it and we see that Reinhardt pulls up very fast very fast like by the time that like you know everyone's under the spell or sorry under the authority of wrath Reinhardt's like i'm here guys uh and it's like having the most broken character in the verse does not even save subaru from every situation because like as we can see right now killing is not the option because if we kill sirius sirius could easily transfer that onto everyone around them including potentially Reinhardt. so like at this point, like, how, how do you guys think that we, we should stop her? How do you guys think that we should, like, stop this from happening? But, like, we already see that, you know, this shit ends, or, I mean, the episode ends with a very devious, like, a very strong attack from Sirius. And, by the way, let, let's let's go out and say it, like, right now. We, everyone thinks that, everyone, everyone knows or believes that, Sirius is Mother Fortuna. Something that like I wanted to talk about before is the fact that in the novels, right? They go into like a lot of detail about a lot of things. But one of the things that we're not able to get like a really good grasp on is actually like like all of what Sirius looks like. We get like one or two pictures in like the in the um light novels, but up until recently we did, we couldn't even like tell that she had elf ears until the anime came out now uh, the whole the whole thing with like the voice like uh if it's like the same voice as uh mother fortuna like that was debunked by uh, somebody in one of the comments for uh one of my videos but man uh like the the scene where sirius is cursing all of the all of the aspects all of the traits of amelia that you know everyone has like like gave her so much disdain for like oh her her pointy ears like her amethyst eyes her like silver hair like all the shit that like makes her comparable or like look like the the witch of greed or sorry witch of envy everyone hates her for that but the only people who have ever like said that they love this like genuinely like the, they love these features about her like being fortuna puck um subaru obviously and if this is actually fortuna it is so diabolical that just like just like juice she can't even acknowledge like this is probably her family and that that's just rough man she doesn't even know it she doesn't even know like like assuming that this is fortuna she doesn't even know that like this person staying her in her face calling her like a bitch and all this shit for having these traits is or like the traits that she got from her it's it's just it's just terrible it's just terrible like amelia has suffered a lot more than people like to really acknowledge and it's really unfortunate that like she has to go through all this stuff yet she still stays strong she has like a powerful like a, like positive outlook on life despite having suffered so much and that's the thing a lot of people in, in re-zero have suffered a lot of people in re-zero suffer so much yet they like in most cases like they strive like they they keep going they don't just give up they don't give in to despair and it's such a beautiful story in like how you can showcase this 
this notion of self-sacrifice, like grief, like all of these different, these completely like catastrophic emotions that can break people down. And yet these characters still find ways to muster, muster through it. I, I'm getting, I'm getting rambly. I don't, I don't want to yap too much about like each individual thing. Cause like I, I talk way too long if it comes to ReZero. Oh my God. This, this series is so fucking good, but I, I don't, I don't know. Let's talk about, let's talk about like, let's talk about how Subaru is such a stronger person now than he was before. He doesn't just immediately give, give in to like the distress and like go insane or all this stuff. He like, especially like, like season one Subaru compared to season two three Subaru right now where like his checkpoint is 15 minutes from the from the catastrophe yet he's still able to for the most part th like think clearly have like a level head despite his return by death be return by death being instantaneous and he's like shit I just died wait how do I figure out how to deal with this he has no t he has no downtime to sit and like comprehend anything he just has to go with the flow he's so strong right now we got to see some of like him and Bayako's uh, abilities in action, which is amazing. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm watching the episode like as I'm doing like this the second like this commentary just so I can like have more of the stuff fresh in my head. Even though it's already fresh, man, I, I just finished watching it. Like I haven't stopped. Like so when I ended the episode, I kept going. And like restart it so I can like talk about things as they were going. This 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 show is an absolute fucking masterpiece, and I, I'm sorry like the the very like everyone believing in in Subaru like 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 everyone believes in Subaru. They knows what he is capable of to the point where people are not even going to question if he has like random shit to say like that doesn't make sense or may not like how do you know this how do you know what's going on oh wait that, that we were literally just all together in the um in like um um uh anastasia's place now we go outside and then all of a sudden you're just like i feel sick i feel sick i feel sick i feel sick and then you're just like i, I need to go somewhere like bro to to everyone else that's like bro why, why is bro tweaking but because everyone has been so used to being around subaru and like they know that he just has like like in in fewer words they can even think that he has like visions or some shit maybe maybe he has like some type of like foresight or something to where he's just seeing shit happen and he just has to act without being able to explain because for some reason or another he can't but I don't know like that that bit in the end i'm i'm sorry like that that kind of caught me off guard like my like my uh camera <laughs> due to like my my movement like like my camera fell i had to fix that i even oh my god that scene that scene was so was so powerful because up until now Subaru has always tried to do everything by himself. Yes, he has gotten help with a lot of things. Like there, like honestly, when it comes down to it, there was a lot of things that he couldn't do by himself. That he needed, like his friends to be there, or like the people who he liked to call friends be there, like for him to like to support him to do and to like have their strength, like bring and pull all their strength together to be able to get through these like crazy ass like demonic situations, but. And that ending scene of like the end, like the ending song, just seeing Subaru like getting overwhelmed and like before, before he can even fall, he didn't even fall. He stumbled, bro. It's going to make me tear up again, bro. He could, he couldn't even fall because every single person every single ally every single friend every single team like however you want to say it everyone that he has loved for bled for 
died for was right behind him to push him up before he, he can even fall. And the symbol, I'm sorry, this is, it's still getting me choked up. The symbolism behind that scene cannot be understated. It cannot be understated. Whether Subaru believes in himself enough or not, there are countless people. There are so many people who we who are named and those who are unnamed who love and believe in Subaru and will support him and will help push him up if he ever stumbles. And this is why I love ReZero. This is why I love ReZero. And we're this is the second episode. The very, the very diabolical cliffhanger of Amelia getting saved at the very end by Regulus. Subaru says, the witch's cult is gonna come after you for sure. Whatever you do, put your own safety first. And she says, all right, I will. And if I do get caught, I have faith that you'll rescue me. Because that's all he's ever done, bro. Anytime Amelia was in danger, needed help, needed rescuing, who was it that fucking came to her, bro? Oh, I'm sorry. This show gets me emotional. This show gets me emotional. I'm... I don't I don't know what else to say man. It's these little things, these little these little scenes, these little moments. It's not even like the crazy speeches all the time. It's some of these smaller moments. The culmination of how these characters how have formed the bonds that they have and how they've gotten here. She didn't even have to say that. She didn't have to say, yeah, and if I do get caught, I have faith that you'll rescue me. She, like, those are some of the most obvious, like, words she could have said. But it's not that she said the obvious. It's she's saying it because she knows that this is a fact. This is not something that, like, you know, can be joked about. This is not something that, oh, hey, yeah, well, just do your best. And, like, like always, I'm sure things will work out. No, she knows that if... It's involving her, anyone else uh, for that matter that Subaru cares about. He is going to go above and beyond. He's going to be reckless and he's going to save everyone. Roswell can attest to that. This is peak fiction. And at the very end, she ends up getting, ass ass assumingly, captured by... Regulus Corneus. I haven't I haven't stood up for a, a while because I'm bricked. I don't want I don't want to flip the table again. Like, you know. But uh also just gonna say the opening fucking godlike. The ending so godlike. Oh my god, my brain it trembles. Alright, alright. I'm I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you guys. Uh, I know you guys love ReZero. I love ReZero. I'm bricked up. You're bricked up. Stay bricked up, my boys. This has been your boy Shaq, aka Black Goku. You know what to do. If you guys love ReZero as much as I do, leave a like. If you guys like want to keep supporting, want to keep coming back to follow like my journey with ReZero Season 3, subscribe. And hit that notification bell as well so you can stay updated on when I make videos content and go live and all that good crazy shit because look i know y'all are here for re-zero but i stream i game i do other shit too and if you guys would like a little glimpse because like bro so you you guys would be surprised despite me only recently covering re-zero content everyone who's already been a part of the channel for a while now knows how much i love re-zero because I talk about it in every stream. I talk about it in damn near every single video that I like that goes up. Like ReZero is talked about like heavily on the channel. A, a lot, a lot more than you'd expect. You pull into a random stream, I'm probably going to be talking about ReZero at some point. But anyway, this has been like a super long outro. It's going on 50 minutes. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Until next time, keep talking about ReZero. Stay bricked.
Peace.